Hey guys, today we're going to be working on this 1997 Toyota Chaser. The work we're going to be doing is replacing this radiator with an aluminum Mishimoto unit. So let's go ahead and open this up. First thing, this in here, which is just their catalog and maybe an air freshener. size that is. Okay. We're gonna start on removing the old one. So first we're gonna loosen this pet cock right here. Just enough for it to start pouring out the cooler. And I'm just gonna drain like this until it's empty. So while it's draining, I'm gonna start working on the top. Remove the supports. Let's go ahead and remove the upper radiator hose now. Wow, that's rusty. Okay, and I can remove this hose now. There's one plug, and now I'll get to the other one right here. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I gotta take this fan off. And then we're pretty much good to go. Now the water pump pulley is off. I'm taking off this lower shield so I can get to this clamp easier. Okay, and now I'm gonna get to this clamp with some tires. Probably these ones I dropped in the water earlier. I'm just gonna take this uh, connector off. And then this little radiator hose. All right, and now should be ready to pull off. Keyboard shift. So now we're just gonna transfer everything over from this radiator to the new one. I'm gonna transfer that sensor. So 
I'm putting Teflon tape on these threads because I realize there's no place for this O-ring to seal inside of here. We're just gonna put a layers of thread lock or uh, Teflon tape. These little grommets we have to take off. And put them on here. Now it's ready to go in. Since I had the radiator out, it was gonna be a lot easier to take this thermostat housing out. Just figured I'd change the thermostat, because why not? Those. So I had to remove this intercooler piping to try to uh, fit this since it was hitting here. But I think once I get it through, I can put it back on afterwards. So I'll go ahead and try that now. Okay. Oh, it's very tight fitting. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. Okay. It looks like it fits. I'll deal with it a little bit later. So I'm getting rid of these uh, rubber radiator hoses and I went with uh, the silicone. So another thing is I'm getting rid of these clamps, the pressure clamps, and I'm just using regular C clamps. So you can already see here, the, the lower radiator hose is already on. The clamp over here is tight. And so now just where the thermostat housing is, I just gotta tighten that one down. Okay, so now the lower radiator hose is on. Now we can clip in this lower shroud. Okay. Just like that. I'm curious to see if I could even get the uh, fan in here now. Hmm. How am I gonna do this? If I gotta take this pipe off now. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll take this off and see. Just so I don't drop anything in here, I'm just gonna put this in here. I think what I'm gonna do is maybe take the fan shroud from underneath by taking this lower cover off. Here and here. And then see if I have enough room to go under underneath these. Yeah, kind of. But you know what else? I have to take the belt off and push it back a little bit. So let me do that. Because the uh, water pump pulley has to go on. So, push this back. This pulley goes on. I should have re really removed that belt. I really didn't want to. I just don't want to take this belt off, but I have no other choice. gonna be a pain in the ass to put back. Like a huge pain in the ass. Okay, so now we can do this. Alright. Let's see if we could get this up here. Oh my god, come on. It's so close. There. And now it's on. Put these hand tight for now. Spin it. Oh shit. It's hitting the uh, the uh, fan shroud. Let's see if it'll do it like that. Oh, no, so if I have this pull back. And I dropped one. All right, so those are just gonna be finger tight for now. We'll work on the next part. And then this guy. Two. Okay. Um, the fuck? Let's go from the bottom then. Okay. 
Alright. Get this belt off. Gotta slip it through. Fan. Okay, let's just take this little thing out. Ah, the nightmare belt. Okay. So we got the uh, intercooler piping on. Now I'm just gonna get this belt back into place. And as you can see, it's a very tight fit. It's pretty much touching. Right here, it's touching the uh, pipe. So I'm gonna have to get that fixed at one point. But next is the uh, serpentine belt. I just don't remember how the belt goes. Is there a diagram? Oh, there is. Like this and like this. This is all just a very difficult thing for all parties involved here, audience. <sighs> okay, it's on. Now I just gotta tighten the, uh, these bolts. Or, uh, nuts. Okay. Okay, so, I'll tighten them further. I gotta jam like a screwdriver in there or something. It's flying off. Okay. Okay. Last one. All right. So that's on. We're just gonna put this pipe back on. We didn't need to take it off. Now we'll just clip these back in. Oh, there. Clipped. Alright. So that's on. Let's see if we can get this guy on. Oh, shit. Damn it. I thought I had it. Okay. And now I gotta cut it, because see? It's gonna be hitting. Alright. So how much do I have to cut? Right here. Yeah, so I went ahead and cut part of this because it was a little too long. So I'm just going to get these clamps on. Okay. So I ended up getting the uh, upper radiator hose on. Just had to do some trimming on the inside because it was just a little too narrow. And once I got it on, I just squeezed it on. So it's, it's good now. Now I can just put this piece back in. I believe it ran underneath. Like so. Okay. And that's it, we're done. Oh, this guy. I'm just gonna fill it up. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start it and bleed out the cooling system, which I'm not gonna show. So this is how to replace the radiator on a JZX100 with an aluminum radiator. And if you like this video, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next repair. What the fuck was that? The ghost of Chaser's past. Damn it. Why is this so difficult? Two, one.
Helicopter hair? I get it. How's my hair? It's good? Let's keep it going. Keep it going.